Welcome back everyone to Pine Leaf Previews Update 19 where I'm going to take a little look at the latest developments in the new housing area. Here I have taken a little house that I've purchased and I've decorated the yard a bit. We have some nice decorations here. and These are things that I really haven't had a chance to really put into my classic house so it's nice to be able to have a nice fuller decorated area now so you can see this but it looks like decorated and there are many many more slots so there is quite a bit more that I could do with in decorating this area now indoors now indoors we well we've got this little model of Minas Tirith I thought that would be appropriate for a Gondorian house. And yeah, things aren't quite beautiful yet, but it's sort of a start and I can then do more serious decorating when I actually get it onto the live server. Now, things haven't changed much in the house itself, but there have been a few changes in the housing system. The first of these changes has to do with the upkeep. Now look on here, the upkeep cost is now listed in gold. It's one gold upkeep instead of the mithril upkeep that was required last time. And we still have the way for VIP, so I won't have to worry about the gold upkeep there. Now you still have the option to pay in Mithril, if you want, I could instead pay to Mithril if that's what I really wanted to do, assuming I needed to do it. But if you could do it in gold, you might as well do it in gold rather than in Mithril. And I think that's sort of a nice little touch in that matter. So it's a lot easier than to maintain the houses. The base prices, they're unchanged. So it's still Mithril and it's still luxury housing for a luxury price but the maintenance costs have been dropped now they have also updated the maintenance costs for the standard houses i believe as far as i could tell they were more expensive than the new costs there so they have been dropped also to be to mithril for the standard houses and five for the kin houses now the other thing that they've changed is they're adding a little bit more life here because now we have some neighbors here all talking with each other and some guards who are trying to keep us safe. So this place now looks a lot more alive than it did in the past. Now one of the places that I definitely showed last time was let's see, up here. So you can see someone reading here, people reading around here. And, and the last time I checked out this area on the previous video, this place was empty except for the various bulletin boards there. So it's a much more lively place there. It's starting to feel like a neighborhood. So it's good to see that they're still f finishing this out. And I think there are a number of things that also feel more alive than before. So even the kids are around. Now, the other matter has to do with the islands. So we'll head out here and we'll click on this. And here we are and you notice that I did not fall into the water. Yay! So yes, we no longer have to worry about falling into the water whenever we are doing this. So quite a number of improvements then to the system getting the neighborhood more fleshed out, more alive, a better place to live, lower maintenance costs for those of you who have to pay maintenance costs. So it's all to the good. Now, what else changed during the latest update? Here is the first look I've had of the city after the battle and it doesn't look like things are in very good shape. I 
guess that would be the case if you had orcs rampaging in, collapsing the city gates. And probably trying to do as much damage as they could before the inevitable results of the battle and the orcs being kicked away and I guess we have all these people here trying to clean up the mess that was created during the battle. At least those who aren't exhausted from the there's much to do here on the workers. There's much to do everywhere. Probably, uh, probably this is the worst of the tears on how things fell. Let's see. Gondor needs your aid. So here we have Honorian after battle, the pavilion of Gilead, Ithilien, and to Hennethlanun. So various places you can go. And I have not unlocked any of those. That will have to be done, obviously, while I'm doing my questing at some point. I notice that he does not offer you to go up into the higher tiers. And then out here, we've got the Pelennor Fields. I think that's just a feeder quest from Imrahil. Probably a good number of quests to clean things up. That would be my guess on the matter. Uh, hello. Okay. And now... Oh, wow. That is a mess. That is a great mess. And if the orcs had won, it'd be even worse. Well, it looks like a, a great deal of the interior, though, seems to be... Well, from here, it looks fine. I'm sure that down the street level, there'll still be a great deal of damage down there also. But I'm pretty sure everything is... ...worse than on top. Now, it looks like we've got occasional orcs around here, so therefore... We're not completely free of orcs in the area. Apparently a couple of them have stayed... Oh, it might help if I go into the proper stance. And take care of a couple of orcs along the way. So therefore, yeah, apparently an orc or two is still around on the Pelennor. And now it looks like he hold us gilies now after a result of that. I guess we took it back after the battle. That's the only reason why I could think that there is now a stable master here instead of an enemy army sitting there. That's right, because so much was killed down along the way. Let's see if we can take a quick look at Osgiliath. Being able to go into Osgiliath and not have to worry about being jumped by orcs every step of the way. Now, concerning the map here. Now here we are for the Pelennor to Osgiliath after battle, Minas Tirith after battle, Aragorn's oh Aragorn's pavilion down here, and there's Parth Galad, which is up there, and there that goes up to the North Athelion up there, down by the North Gate there. Now if you right click on here. You notice this brings up a map called the March of the King. So we have our stable master there, Minas Tirith. Aragorn's place, okay. North Henneth the Noon, way up there over the river. And Osgiliath is also on the other side of Osgiliath there. So this is all for North Athelion. See, it's going to be very pretty, so we'll see what that looks like. And if you right click this again, you'll see this is a Mordor map. And that's because Turbine has chosen, despite the fact that we won the battle, they decided that they would include this part of Gondor on the Mordor map, since it's going to be connected by continuous walking in the light to Mordor rather than to the rest of Gondor, since the original part 
the original version of Mias Tirith is what's going to connect directly to the Gondorian maps. Alright. Let's see what we have here. So, everyone has quite a pavilion up here. This is quite a town here. How they they hear that you, there's friend? a king sitting around here and they say, alright, alright, we'll, we'll all join you here. And there you go. I, I guess that's Aragorn's place because that looks like the banner of the king up there. Now, one of the points that they made during the uh, in the Return of the King is that the banner that's being flown in the city is that of Imrahil, of Dol Amroth, for the primary banner. And because Ar because Aragorn decided not to enter the city officially as the as the king until after all things were settled. And of course, even though the battle was won, you know there is still more work to do since there is this matter of there still being this big land of Mordor to take care of. So yes, there is more than housing on this. We do have a continuation of the epic storyline, which I don't know what's like on that matter because I've not done any of the quests yet. I'm saving that for the final release. And I will be doing a series on that matter. But what we do see is a chance to look at the landscape and see what we have coming for us. It looks like it might be a little bit laggy here, whether that's because we're on the test server, whether they still need to optimize things a little bit, we will find out. But I thought that maybe I could do a quick run into Osgiliath and have a chance to look at it without worrying about getting killed constantly and also being able to see it in the daylight. Because before, we were constantly, of course, under the the dawnless day, and under the dawnless day, you really can't see things all that much. And I admit that this city is not exactly in great shape because it's been contested for a long time. It has been part of the enemies territories for a while. I know it's changed hands once or twice in here, but on the most part it's been in enemy hands and that's the condition it's in when you have to cross it. Right, so not a single orc inside or anything like this. Now of course I do have not so fond memories of the, that particular area. And I'm wondering, are they ever going to be able to rebuild this city? Okay, see, we have Gondorian soldiers here. We have a garrison that is not constantly at war or whatever. Here's a... Hmm. White tree banners are starting to pop up all over the place. <laughs> I don't know how Aragorn feels about that. Because I didn't think that there were all that many of those banners to start with, but during wars, things like that, I guess, sometimes happen, where someone gets around to making sure there are additional banners to show things. So we also have the Rohirrim up here. And here. These are troublesome times yeah, indeed. Stable master. And I guess we're going to need this for the March of the King, because that's going to be a very important part of what's going on here. Now, where am I at right now? Ah, all right, that says to North Athelion this way. So this thing gets us into North Athelion, and I would like to have a nice, or at least a quick look at it at this point. Because here we are in North Athelion. 
And here we have the crossroads. Now we still have that crazy head like this. At least I don't have to worry about being stamped on by an oil event and all that stuff. So I can only hope that they'll take care of that little problem at some point. And we did have the crossroads also in the previous one. Let's see. Oh, okay. So we have quest givers all over the place. And I think they were also supposed to have some nice... Oh, looks like that we do have some orcs here and there and here. Level 106. Oh, fun. So therefore, this is the place where you're probably going to have most of your serious combat in there. I guess he probably has the quest to go after the defilers and the like. But now we get a chance to see Athelion in full daylight. And... Oh, okay. Oh, ha <laughs> the father was following me. How about that? And we also, of course, have our Mounts of Shadow up here, which is pretty ominous. Now, we're not going into those immediately, as far as I know. But we will at some point, because we do see some ominous things up ahead. Because hey, that... Is that Minas Morgul up there? If it is, then that looks like your entry point into Mordor. Ooh, let me see. Where am I at right now? I can't even see where I'm at on this map. Oh, I guess I'm somewhere up around here. So let's say that is. A little place in there. Now, I don't think we're able to get into Mordor at this time, if it is Mordor. And it might even be an instant death thing or something like that. So if you see me die suddenly, you'll know why. Actually, this is a Norian. Iml oh, Imlad Morgul. Uh, yeah. Imlad Morgul. Yeah, okay. They're very definitely enemy territory. And this is blocked off for now, but I suppose that in update 20, perhaps, or something like that, we may find ourselves going up into here. So that's a little view of what's coming up for update 19, the landscape that we have coming up, and the latest on the new housing area. And when update 19 comes out, which is scheduled at some point in the month of October, we will have an opportunity to run through these quests and see how well I survive in them. And can we now take on the enemy now that we have the light of day? Will that work? We'll find that out in a later episode here in Piney Plays Lord of the Rings Online.